Josh first, thank you so much for doing this interview. For folks who are listening to this whole interview on Rudy Blair Entertainment Media, RudyBlairMedia.com. Josh and I have been trying to do this interview, I'd say, for the last two and a half weeks, I would probably say. Because since COVID has kicked in, not only is it affecting people, it's affecting technology. <laughs> we haven't been able to connect, and then there was a point where I got my days mixed up, and it's been crazy. But finally, we're getting a chance to talk, so thank you so much for your patience, my friend. No problem. Thank you for still doing this. <laughs> Are you kidding? Look, I want to talk with this great single because it's perfect <laughs> for what's going on. But I've got to ask anyways, though, because here in uh, Toronto and in Ontario, we're, a lot of uh, areas are going on to this mild stage two during coronavirus, so we can't eat in restaurants and uh, we can't go to the gym. How are things going? Where are you and how are things going in your area? Um, I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. So, I mean, it's it's honestly getting progressively worse again. I'm not really – we're not exactly entering a quarantine yet, but I I can definitely see that happening in the very near future, um, just based on the fact that the numbers have been increasing quite a lot um, every day. So it's honestly a ticking time bomb at this point, I feel like. Man, I'm so sorry to hear about that. <laughs> Look, is there a message that you want to tell people um, just very quickly before we get into the music? Because I know for myself, I'm pretty frustrated because it's like, please, can you all wear masks? sanitize and try to be as distant as possible. Is there anything you want to say? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, the sooner we smarten up about this whole thing, the sooner everyone will benefit from it. I think it's not really that difficult to just distance yourself and, and like, follow simple protocol. Like, um, and I think the sooner we get behind it and just do it, the, uh, I mean, we won't have to go through this crap anymore so just uh yeah i mean i especially the especially the the group like size thing like that that to me is just almost a no-brainer like that should be just you know common sense right now but it's instant gratification that continues to plague our human race <laughs> i agree with you i absolutely agree with you with everything you just said and it worries me about what's going to happen during the holiday season, but oh, definitely. We'll, deal, we'll deal with that as it goes along. But look, summer is over. We're into fall. My friend, you put out a new single that really represents what is happening now. Look, before we talk about that song, though, I want to talk a little bit about your career because your music is a mix of everything, but it's all the good stuff in the genres. How did you come up with your mix of music, and, and how would you even say – like, when did it all start for you for the love of music? Thank you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've loved music since I was a little kid. Um, I used to play uh, a keyboard and learn Disney songs off just by ear. Um, and ever since that, like, you know, music was always kind of my thing that I came back to when I was stressed or I just needed a break. And I did the whole five year university thing uh, in clinical psychology, but I was writing an album while I was doing that. And so um, I, I honestly, I've only been doing it as my career for since 2017. And um, I've kind of blended genres of like, you know, very guitar driven um, John Mayer esque types of music with like the songwriting of like Ed Sheeran, which is very, just, you know, storytelling. And, but then I've always kind of gravitated towards uh, the more, production side of things on, in in the sense of like r&b like the weekend kind of vibe so i've kind of brought in the three of those into this guitar and b type of thing that i call it <laughs> what would you uh say story-wise are the things that you like to tell through your music um honestly just things that like most people can relate to just relationship typically and um and like even just with this newest project, like it's called and I'll leave some of the time, but the one that I put out before that was a three song EP called The Worst Year. And it was kind of just uh, a bit of a take on um what the quarantine has meant for people and um how it's affected different facets of their lives. And um 
just kind of making something that is very relatable that you can hear it and it's almost like someone's taking the words out of your mouth kind of thing. Um, that's what I've always enjoyed doing. So let's talk about the new single because, like I said, it's perfect timing. What's the single called and what's it about? Then? Leave Summer Behind is basically just a take on how bizarre this year and this summer more specifically have been. And I actually wrote the song for a summer song competition that was nationwide. And uh, it, the the only criteria for the competition was that it needed to be a summer song. And I didn't really know how to write a summer song for a bizarre summer where you can't really do the typical summery things that you're used to. And, um, and so I kind of just wrote this song about how this year's been so different from every year before it and how we're trying to adapt to something that is constantly pulling the rug out from underneath your feet and it's just not easy. <laughs> You've been screwing me over inside of my mind Throwing me under your little unkind Got me singing now Leave summer behind No, I know in Toronto... Uh, and we we talked about this before in Toronto was probably the best summer weather we've ever had, and we couldn't go anywhere. So <laughs> oh, that's what I mean. By, this, this, your song is perfect for what is been happening. How tough was it to try to record this and get this out during COVID? Because there were so many, like you know, even though you can do things at home, still recording studios and stuff like that, they were shut down. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, thankfully, I've over the past few years, it's almost like I you know, without knowing that this would happen, kind of prepared for it to happen. Um, I've been kind of building a little home studio for the past few years and like, teaching myself how to produce and mix and do all that kind of stuff. And so I actually entirely did this song out of my basement, basically. I produced it, mixed it, all that kind of stuff uh, just from home. So it was actually not as hard as it would have been had I not invested that time beforehand. Amazing, my friend. EP or album going to follow this? Um, You know what? This song actually should have just been on the EP that already came out uh, just prior to it. Um, I think I'm done with the quarantine-themed music for now. I think I've <laughs> put out quite a lot of it. So um, I think I'm going to be on to something new and just kind of exploring new ideas again and um, but yes, definitely in the new year, there will be some new content, but I cannot say whether it will be quarantine related. <laughs> okay, but you can mention about what's the uh, what's EP called and what's the theme of it. It's actually, I don't have a name for it yet. I'm actually working on it with Warner USA, which is really exciting. Nice. Um, yeah, they've, they've put together some really amazing uh, co-writes for me, and uh, we are honestly just trying to write the best songs that we possibly can and we're doing four songs and just going to see what we can do with them and um but yeah right now it's there there doesn't seem to be like a cohesive theme which is why we're doing it more of an ep than an album um just because then we have the, a bit more freedom to you know talk about different things but yeah it's still kind of uh um, a fresh project and uh Still, yeah, there will be definitely some more updates in the near future. <laughs> okay, now to get the update, social media is the place to go. Where do you go to follow you? You can honestly just type in Josh Sahanta on Google, and all my things will pop up. But I'm on Instagram, Spotify, Facebook, YouTube, all the places that one could be. <laughs> Fantastic. Josh, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you so much for the music, because we need good music during this tough time and i'm looking forward to talking to you again but let's cross fingers that when we do somehow some way it can't be in person you Absolutely. be safe my friend and i hope your family's safe too we'll definitely talk soon looking forward to talking to you about the new music that'll be coming out thank you so much you take care bye-bye you as well thanks leave summer behind